Hello, my name is Michael. Hello, my name is Simon. Today we'll be doing a presentation for you on Smart Grid. In this presentation, we will go through an introduction, determine driving factors for implementing smart grids, define what smart grid is, talk about some of its components, outline benefits, list barriers, explore current implementations, and end with a conclusion. The power system was developed during times when it was thought gas and oil prices would remain abundant and constant at a low price. However, realization that oil was not as abundant as previously envisioned led to the oil crisis in the 1970s, driving prices up as shown in the graph, making it economically unstable. Similar sources, such as coal and natural gases, also experienced similar trends in increased prices and therefore making either option just as unviable in sustained usage. Cheap and abundant fossil energy is coming to an end. 49% of electricity generation in the United States comes from coal, 20% from natural gas, and 19.4% from nuclear sources. Renewable sources such as hydroelectricity only make up 9.4%. China's electricity generation is also similar to that of the United States. It is heavily reliant on coal, making up 79% of its power production. There are three major driving factors towards creating a smarter grid. The internal market, security of supply, and the environment. The internal market has evolved to be a liberal and market-driven structure by deregulating the industry. This was to allow other utilities to generate and sell their power on a free market, which in theory should promote competition between utilities, driving prices down. It also promotes the construction of more efficient and innovative generation plants as new industries would want to receive bigger returns. In BC, British Columbia Transmission Corporation was formed in 2003 as a result of deregulation to allow other utilities to access BC's public transmission system. Security of supply is also important as electricity consumption is expected to increase at a rate of 1% a year between 2008 and 2035. As diminishing fossil fuels are becoming scarcer and more expensive, new resources will have to be utilized. Information security of the electrical grid also needs to be enhanced as it is currently vulnerable to cyber attacks with its aging technological infrastructure. Power outages also cause significant economical consequences as today's society is heavily based on electricity. The United States lose at least $150 billion each year due to outages even though the power system is 99.97% reliable. Environmental concerns and global warming have led to goals and emission reduction such as the Kyoto Protocol. CO2, SO2, and NOx are all pollutants that are emitted when generating electricity with fossil fuels. In the United States, power generation is responsible for 38% of the country's carbon footprint and by making the power grid just 5% more efficient, it would reduce 262.1 billion pounds of CO2. Technologies such as solar, wind, and fuel cell power are being developed to provide clean alternative energy sources. Smart Grid is a research, development, and demonstration of a new 21st century power system to meet today's energy demand while keeping reliability, economy, flexibility, and the environment in mind. The desired goal is for a better interaction between distributors and consumers when dealing with energy consumption matters. It will also incorporate a more diverse spectrum of generation sources that are renewable and environmentally friendly. A smart grid with a combination of implanted real-time sensors and computerized control is able to anticipate, 
detect and react to contingencies such as power outages and distribution interruptions should they occur. The system should be able to automatically search for a solution to either completely avoid or diminish these problems. The goals for a self-healing smart grid system are to considerably optimize the performance and reliability of the system, automatically minimizing or eliminating system disturbances, and able to restore the grid to a stable state of operation after incidents. Smart grid implementation is to permit bi-directional communication between the consumer and distributor. Both parties will be able to contribute and control certain aspects from each other to create a better interaction. Smart metering will allow customers to identify their energy consumption at any time. They will be able to help produce energy demand and costs during peak periods by rescheduling. A customer can also control their energy consumption both directly in their household or remotely should they install intelligent equipment. Information monitoring and two-way communication will allow the consumer to improve efficiency and reduce electricity costs. If the consumer is also utilizing distributed generation which is connected to the grid, we can optimize the use of resources to minimize costs. Smart grid infrastructure should be resilient enough to withstand against cyber attacks and physical damage. With real-time monitoring of the power system, Problems can be identified immediately and resolved or isolated to reduce power disruption. Having predictive infrastructure will allow operators to identify and solve problems early. It will also allow them to construct emergency plans to reduce power disruptions in natural disasters. The smart grid must support the connectivity of distributed generation to the power grid. It will reduce peak demands from central generation plants and will improve the power quality and reliability of the power system. The consumer will also have more choice and control lowering costs of electricity. There will also be environmental benefits as renewable generation will be utilized powering homes and offices. The smart grid will be able to interact with customers and markets and provide secure and accurate information that is free from threats and hazards. The wireless AMI will provide long distance two-way communication between households and the data control center that will use data encryption and user authentication for dealing with consumer information. It will interpret data and transform it into useful information and optimize the system to make better use of resources. Some operations the system will utilize is microgrid control. It will select the most cost-effective generation available for current loads. Multiplexing provides the network with the best communication support for intelligent control devices. This device controls the generation to load ratio and will lessen the load by discarding least critical loads to available generation or switch to alternative generation sources and reroute the power. Implementing the system requires some replacement of legacy equipment leading to utilization of new protocols. Here are just some of the major components that are needed to implement Smart Grid. Smart Meter, Phaser Measurement Unit, Information Transfer, and Distributed Generation. Smart meter is essentially an electrical device that specifically recognizes and details electrical consumption in a building within a specified time interval and automatically relays the information to a central monitoring station operated by the distribution company. Smart meters were developed to replace traditional meters for the majority of customers, including residential areas. Compared to traditional meters, it has the added functionality of utilizing real-time sensors, power outage notification, and power quality monitoring. Timestamps are included in the recorded data and is documented and allowed distribution companies to know how much electricity was consumed during any time of the day and charges consumers accordingly. This information is also shared with the consumer both locally 
and remotely, allowing them to better schedule their energy usage if necessary. Smart Grid utilizes high-speed sensors called phaser measurement units to monitor power quality. Ideally, the waveforms of alternating current should be identical throughout the entire grid. Phaser measurement units are integrated all through the system allowing data to be extracted regarding a particular position's waveform dimensions along the grid. Networks with this level of fuck. Networks with this level of unit installation make up a wide area measurement system and can provide real-time data. Along with phaser measurement units, wide area measurement systems include phaser data concentrators to gather sample data and route it to a supervisor control and data acquisition system at a control station. Data concentrators are linked to the units through existing phone lines and manage a range of between 12 to 60 units and relays the collected information to a central facility. An entire network worth of information in relation to these waveform patterns will allow for automated systems to better manage power system distribution in real time as inefficiencies occur. Information transfer technologies is needed to extend the two-way communication feature into home applications. Protocols such as Zigbee, Insteon, Z-Wave, and Wi-Fi are most popular. In a smart grid application, it is encouraged for all these technologies to be compatible with one another. Zigbee uses the IEEE 802.15.4 standard for wireless personal area network. The combination of low energy and fast startup time allows it to go into sleep mode often while not in use and start when required. Zigbee connections are arranged in a mesh type topology, meaning it allows information to be passed through other Zigbee devices to travel a longer overall distance. This makes it a better choice when compared to other alternatives such as Bluetooth. Distributed generation will allow the connection of small-scale renewable generations such as solar, wind, fuel cells, and microturbines. Generation will be close to the load which reduces transmission line construction costs and transmission power losses. Heat that is generated from the microturbines can also be captured to be used for heating purposes. There will also be an increased customer interaction as they can sell unused power back to the electric utility. Reliability will also be improved as there is a wide variety of different generation sources connected to the grid. There are many benefits to a smart grid. Efficiency will be increased with distributed generation, smart metering, and energy management systems. Distributed generation will reduce the transmission line losses and enable heat to be captured to be utilized for heating purposes. Smart metering will enable energy management systems to control load to be running during off-peak periods. Reliability will be improved as well with wide area monitoring and protection systems. It will provide constant detection of disturbances at any portion of the grid. It will include capabilities to both localize and evaluate the disorder that occurred and react in real time to diminish or neutralize the problem. The environment is also a benefactor as renewable and environmentally friendly generation such as solar and wind sources can be utilized in residential applications. Smart Grid will help countries meet their Kyoto protocols. Reducing demand on centralized generation facilities will also reduce the amount of emissions that will be produced. Regulations of the power system must be changed to give incentives for utilities that are willing to produce renewable and efficient energy. As utilities' revenue is proportional to the amount of power it produces, they are reluctant to take the necessary risks to address the demand and environmental problems that we face today. Smart grid components such as time of day pricing to reduce consumption during peak load periods will require a large investment with an uncertain rate of return, posing as an unnecessary risk for the utility. Power flows of the new power system will have to be recalculated as new distributed generators are connected to the grid to ensure that lines are within voltage stability and thermal limits. 
the voltage generated must also be regulated to the line's rated voltages. System fault levels will have to be reevaluated as well for protection and control purposes. Implementing a smart grid will require a large amount of economical investment. China is investing 7.32 billion, while the United States is investing 7.09 billion into smart grids in 2010. A $65 million test project involving 6,000 households on Jeju Island was launched on June of 2009 by various Korean electric power companies to set up a fully functioning smart grid system by 2011. The project will utilize two 10 megawatt substation transformers, four distribution lines, and green energy facilities including a wind farm. Some organizations involved are Korea Smart Grid Institution, Korea Electric Power Corp, Korea Smart Grid Association, Jeju Special Autonomous Pr Province, and the Korean government. The objective of this is to demonstrate the concept for a smart grid community with a low carbon and green growth strategy. Malta has contracted IBM 70 million euros to become the first smart grid country by installing 250,000 electric and water smart meters. Work is expected to be completed in 2012. SmartGrid is an opportunity to improve and upgrade existing distribution systems with modern technology. It will improve the reliability, efficiency, and economy of the power system, as well as address the environmental issues that we face today. Distributed generation will allow the use of alternative generation such as solar and wind to be utilized in residential and industrial applications. With the implementation of smart metering, time of use pricing will also help reduce peak demand. Investment into smart grid will also develop new technologies and markets in the near future. Thank you for watching our presentation on smart grids.